I'm a zoologist with interest in physiology. It's just happened that I've landed up uh, in scent research and so I'm very happy because it's quite a novel field. With humans being visual, uh, we don't even think about this modality using our sense of smell. So it's, it's quite a big topic in the research area at the moment. And I think that we're going to see more and more research coming out of universities all around the world showing um, information about olfactory systems. My father had a really interesting experience. Um, he was sitting on a termite mound watching some elephants from a distance off. And uh, the wind changed and the elephants got wind of him. And uh, they were in an area where there was quite intense human-elephant conflict, so they, they um, didn't like people much at all. The elephants all turned, um, came towards him, and, uh, and completely trashed the termite mound that he was sitting on. That was about the point when I think he realized uh, the power of elephant sense of smell. When we moved here to South Africa, we started to look into the elephant's olfactory uh, capabilities more in depth. There's um, some anecdotal research that was done where it showed that elephants were avoiding minefields up in Angola, and there was the suggestion that elephant might be avoiding those minefields through olfaction. So they recognized the smell of the TNT and the explosives. Um, that was really interesting, and uh, the US Army research office approached us and they were really interested in taking the research a bit further and actually proving scientifically that elephants are able to detect TNT and then to differentiate TNT from other odors. Uh, so the idea here is that we never ever send elephants out into the field. We never want to put an elephant at risk. That was never our intention. So rather we see that you can go and out and passively collect using unmanned vehicles like drones and go and collect scent samples using filter papers that fly over an area where they, are, they uh, expect landmines are still there and send those filter papers in to the elephant to get screened or they can be checking soil samples that have been collected. Our elephants are trained to firstly target the mat which you'll see on either side of the lineup of buckets and so the elephant starts off on the mat and then he is given a command to go and find and then what he'll do is he'll go to each individual bucket, smell the bucket and if there is something in the bucket like TNT that he's been trained to indicate he'll raise his leg and hover it over the bucket and that's an indication that it's a positive sample and then he gets rewarded. You'll see people coming up and throwing a whole lot of oranges and pellets into his mouth and he absolutely loves the attention so as many people available as possible do this. And then as soon as he's been rewarded, he carries on with the lineup and goes and investigates all the other buckets. They really enjoy attention, they enjoy human company, and uh, they're very social animals. Um, they um, get massive rewards for doing the work that they do, and uh, yeah, I certainly feel that they do enjoy it. I've really had a lot of fun on this work. Um, it's, been, it's been the most fun I've ever had in the field doing research, and I think uh, mostly because I get to work with elephants, but also because its real-world application has so much impact and hopefully is going to save lives.